May they be walls or floors or roofs. Many things inside of Revit are made up of multiple layers and materials. To take a look at how a ceiling is put together, let's zoom in here on our reflected ceiling plan view. In this case, it's a reflected ceiling plan view for level one. Click on one of the individual lines that makes up the ceiling tile. Now go over to Properties and select Edit Type. You can then select on Edit next to the word Structure. This is going to show each of the layers of material that make up this particular ceiling. The structure is 1 and 5 eighths inch thick, and the finished material is an acoustical ceiling material that's 5 eighths of an inch thick. If we change the thicknesses here, it would change the actual thicknesses of how the ceiling is modeled. We can find the total thickness up here as it adds these dimensions together. Now I'm going to select on OK and OK to get out of this particular dialog box. And instead, I'm going to move my cursor over and I'm going to hit the Tab key right here and continue to click on Tab until I can select this individual ceiling that's here inside of our restroom area. Now, once it's highlighted, it has the blue line going around it. Click to highlight it and select on Edit Type. Come up to Edit next to Structure. And we can see 3 and 5 eighths inch metal stud layer for the structure and gypsum wallboard of 5 eighths inch thickness, as well as the total thickness showing up up here. If we wanted to add an extra layer of material, we could click the Insert button. If we wanted to delete a layer of material, we could highlight it. And I'm not going to actually click it, but we could hit the Delete button to get rid of the extra layer of material. If we want to put it in a different order, we could click either up or down to move it up or down on the list. In this case, the gypsum wallboard doesn't have an actual material finish showing up for it. It's showing up in gray, but it doesn't have little dots indicating that this is a gyp board ceiling. And I'd like to give that to it. I'm going to select on where it has gypsum wall and click the little button right next to it. And this will bring up the material browser. We can see gypsum wallboard is highlighted. There's a cut pattern that looks like sand, but I'd really like a surface pattern that looks like sand too. So where it has pattern and none, click inside of that box and then try to find a sand pattern. So that it shows up really nice, I'm going to pick sand dense. Click on OK. Now it's going to display this pattern and the pattern is going to be black, like the little dots show up here, because the color here is black. Now. Click on OK, click on OK again, and OK. It's a little hard to see, but we can start to see those speckles showing up there on the ceiling. And if we move down to the bottom and choose Hidden Line, we can see little gray or black speckles all throughout these locations where we have a jet board ceiling in place. So to modify the materials that might be associated with our ceilings, simply either select on the ceiling or activate the ceiling command. Come into Edit Type. I'm going to pick on Edit Structure. And from here, you can add, subtract materials, as well as change their thicknesses. Also, you can adjust what it is they actually do. So you could tell it your structural or your finished material all through the Edit Assembly dialog box.